Right, this is a B3, great, uh, five, okay, sweet dreams. This piece is so tricky and, and uh, it's not easy to play. Sometimes the left hand, especially so many millions of teachers and uh, students play wrongly because they are not taking care of the crochet on the lower knot, yeah, and the quaver on the top plus the rest. So I tend to get a student to play all this chord, the staccato softly. But legato on the bottom knot and follow the finger strictly. So you need the four five four five to do in order to do that. Now watch my fingers now. Yeah, five. I tell them. I tell them to do that first. So they know it's a chromatic scale with a legato, and then play the white key a little bit closer to the black key. And then easier. Yeah. And then the next one four five four. Five are uh, here, you don't go glide it out, <clears throat> so you slide down the G to grip it. Yeah, then you can use a thumb on the F and G. Yeah, so you, you got the effect. Then all the chord just plain and short. Yeah, then you get it. I get it to da da di da. That it has to be sustained. Here you have to use one, two, three. If you don't use one, two, three, you, you need a four. Can you see the four to go into there? So you need a one, two, three. You cannot use four and jump. Impossible, yeah? Then you can go down four. Back to three. Okay, sorry, four, then three, and so on. Now, right here, you got a melody. Go opposite. Now, five, two, one. Any repeated note, you always change your finger. Then, semi quiver, play then soft. Second one louder, yeah? Accent, again, first one soft, second one louder, yeah? Same. Second one, so, uh, this one soft, then louder on the second one, yeah? Next one, hold it. Then three, two. Always chain fingering whenever you play repeated note, then you bring it down. Then five, use the two to hold it. Oh, legato. So then you can go up again, yeah? Then five, two, one. Or one, two, it doesn't matter, yeah? Then you're going to have two melody. Yeah? So you got a melody with the right hand. Then you put the chord in. Yeah? So you got an eight chord. See? All the top note is just short. Lift up, yeah? But hold the bottom note because there's a melody. Yeah? See? here watch closely see my chord always live up now I'm going to do is full speed same You need a pedal because compared at the beginning they say pedal. So now pedal in pedal. I like to have more pedal, otherwise a bit uh, uh, blur. So I would like to have three pedal on the first bar. Change, 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 change.
Right, uh, so the pedaling is very important. So make sure that um, I know the the pieces. Sometimes if you use a pedal, one pedal is too blur. The examiner always complain about pedaling, <coughs> over pedaling. I always like to clear the pedal, especially when you change your harmony. Like this, one harmony, one harmony, one harmony. It's three completely different chords. It's better to use three pedal. So I find that it, it makes the whole thing much clearer and prettier. It sustains the chord, only require a chord. same chord you don't need to change you just uh, use one pedal now you change again next one you don't need to change because it's the same chord now you have to change different chord here I like to change it three times because the left hand you got a melody I like to change according to the melody note then it was not so blur This is tricky imaging. Yeah? You're gonna play right hand, except the same. Play sustain. Then your chord is just short, just like what you're doing. Same thing. Now reverse back to the right hand, do the same thing. Hold the top note. Yeah? Hold the top note. Then use a five creep under. With, then you've got counter melody with the left hand. The thumb under, then you got four, four and five. Uh, with the legato technique, is you have a lot of four. Use a five to hold four. Come down with a five to hold four. Or go up four, five to hold four. Clipping on. That's a common, common technique in order to sustain the note. So in this case, it's four and a five. Then you can use four again. Yeah. Then five again. You use four. It's like a four, four, five. Yeah, five four five four. You or five five four five four. Use a lot because why? Because you need a one two three to play the chord, so you have no choice. So melody is mainly four and five. You see, five. You see, you need those finger to play the chord, so you have no choice. You reserve four and five to play the the top notes. So sometimes you jump about quite a lot for five is change. Yeah. So in this case, yeah, play the bottom note like a chord. You still hold the top notes, yeah? Yeah. This part, make this short, short. But this is still legato. Ta da! A very difficult technique. Yeah. Then five, clip it under. Two, three, four. See, I still hold that note to uh, B, yeah? Then I'm going to have a jerky rhythm for the top note to be expressed. So di ta di ta ta ya da this a melody da 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 Now you put the left hand in yeah See? chromatic yeah Then go down So difficult line try to work on that melody on the left hand so right hand chord softer bounce bounce so right on the right hand then change it then actually all this thing you don't need pedal I think your fingers can sustain it here if you want to use a pedal you can yeah change 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 yeah here, your finger can sustain, sustain, not a pedal, so up to you. Otherwise, you're going to change three pedal. According to your melody not. And here, another tricky one again. One and two and three, so jerky rhythm. So. One. so it's a C. That's it, jerky, yeah? 